With an operational speed of 270 miles per hour, Shanghai Maglev is currently the fastest commercial train in the world. The train line connects the city of Shanghai to Pudong International Airport and completes the 18-mile journey in only 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Still, it doesn't even begin to test the speed limits of rail transportation, as a Japanese train prototype is capable of reaching 374 miles per hour. What differentiates these two from the traditional high-speed trains, allowing them to blow the competition out of the water? The answer is just magnets. These trains utilize a technology called maglev, or magnetic levitation, that uses a variety of magnets to levitate, propel, and guide trains along the track. Traditional railways have always been working against friction, but maglev gets around this limitation by literally levitating the train above the track. With no friction, air resistance is the only thing slowing it down. Magnets used in maglev lines are not the type that you can buy from wherever people buy magnets. They are extremely powerful electromagnets that give these trains their record-shattering speed. While there are two technologies that differ from each other in small ways, they both take advantage of similar components. The first one is EMS or electromagnetic suspension. With the EMS technology, train cars are equipped with electromagnets that push the car away from the ferromagnetic track, essentially making it fly. The train levitates approximately 10 millimeters above the track, which is more than enough to eliminate friction. The electromagnets in the car create an alternating current which causes attractive and repelling forces to occur, propelling the train forwards. Using this technology, the Shanghai Maglev train was able to go as fast as 300 miles per hour and is still currently holding that record for the fastest commercially used train in the world. The line cost China 1.3 billion dollars and took three years to build. While the speed of the Shanghai Maglev is impressive, especially when compared to most traditional high-speed trains, it is not even the fastest of its kind. The other prominent Maglev technology, EDS or Electrodynamic Suspension, is capable of producing even faster trains. The current fastest train in the world, the Japanese LO series Maglev, can reach 374 miles, as we already mentioned. The unmatched speed of the train is in no small part due to the superconductive electromagnets it's equipped with. EDS trains rely on the concept of superconductivity, where the temperature of the electromagnets is reduced to an extreme degree. The cold increases the conductivity of the magnet and makes it much more powerful. These superconductive magnets are attached to the train and are constantly cooled with the help of liquid helium, so they maintain their power. The guideway consists of two sets of magnets. The inner layer is a line of figure eight shaped coils. The lower part of the coil is the same pole as the train's superconductor electromagnet, while the upper part is the opposite. A mix of the repelling and attracting forces allow the cart to levitate four inches above the tracks. The propelling force that allows the train to reach such incredible speeds is provided by the second set of magnets. They alternate between two polarities and push the train forward. The speed of the train can be dictated by the frequency of switches. Unlike EMS trains, the car is not levitated in a stagnant state, so tires are used until the train reaches a speed at which it can levitate. Maglev trains have several advantages over traditional high-speed systems. Firstly, they don't have any moving parts or components that interact with the ground, reducing wear and tear, which makes maintenance easier. Secondly, they are considerably less noisy than their traditional counterparts, making them suitable for urban transportation. Maglev trains are also energy efficient and cause less greenhouse gas emissions than the alternatives. As of today, air resistance is one of Maglev trains' biggest limitations, but researchers are already proposing a way to take it out of the equation with VacTrain. 
by using partly evacuated tubes and tunnels, air resistance could be minimized and the true potential of maglev trains can finally be unlocked. So if you think 374 miles per hour is too much, you've seen nothing yet.